Hello, welcome to day 38 in Nidite Lane, where there's uh, Melon, Spidey and Apple are often a bit of a hunting party. So we have an Arctic Wolf, a Timber Wolf and a Red Fox on the map and there's nothing at all for them to eat. Oh, they need to be way closer. And when there's nothing for the animals to eat, they will have a tendency to try and eat us. Very good. Uh, Apple, how about you, while you're down here, uh, haul that back. And then you two. Where's that other one? Oh yeah, I'm just working on the scyther at the moment. Okay, here's the other wolf. just have a quick look at this can we no I just got to shut it down right you two let's see if we can get you into a better formation Okay, you need to pick up your shooting skill pretty quick. Ah, that'll do. In fact, um, oh no, just keep on going. So just a red fox and that's a good ways away, I don't think we need to worry about it. Uh, Melon, you can go. Uh, Spidey, move closer. I wonder whether it would be... Why don't you just go melee it? Okay, that was definitely easier. Uh, go... Haul. Oh, okay. Why don't you eat your dinner? And then go... Uh, Kalem? Yeah, you don't want to be coming out here. Spidey? You can prioritise. Kalem? Find something else to do that's a little closer to home. Okay, so now there should just be that red fox, and that red fox is a fair distance from us, not, not close enough for us to worry about going out for it. Um, Anubis, would you mind? Oh. Would you mind bringing this in? Now, to make any use of that, we actually need a machining table. Uh, let's see. It is... Uh, 
have we not oh maybe we've not researched that yet I'm surprised I would have thought we'd have needed machining before we could do um, the components assembly but there you go right how's the extension coming on well looks like the guys have been busy So there's Caleb's room. And this is the start of the defensive structure here. <laughs> Heck, he's found some frozen bushes on the f uh, some fo frozen berries on the floor and decided that that's what he'd rather have to eat rather than go back indoors. But I get that. Sometimes when you're in the middle of doing a job, you just don't really want to break off just to get some food. Oh, Ecky and Caleb are uh, having a nice chat. wood just hanging around here indoors but I'm not too worried about that because it's not going to deteriorate and we'll probably end up using it for doors and things now what's Minty up to ah uh, he's got a crop in to harvest okay Let's have a look at our latest, uh, right, Poindexter and Ranger, our new wolves. Very exciting. They're being trained for hauling, but none of them are quite there yet. I uh, should have thought about what did, what did wolves eat? Uh, raw meat, corpses, meals, processed foods and kibble. Okay, we are going to have to let them uh, roam around. Oh, there's another timber wolf on the map. Um, otherwise, they're going to starve. So, you two are allowed to wander around, go into the freezer, that sort of thing, feed yourselves. Yeah. And we don't want you, any of you guys, being trained for release. Just haul him where you can. No. Uh, this timber wolf, where are you? Far away. Okay, we don't need to worry about you then. Um, well, nice to have a little bit of peace and quiet and just getting on with things, I think. It's been quite a, a busy couple of days, everything happening all at once. what we could do is um, make a little stockpile zone here and we could 
just to add in there some simple meals and that would be uh, wolf food go wolf food we probably need it to be a little bit bigger than that so let's just expand it out somewhat and if we get somebody uh, deadlock you can Paul can't you yes you can And then that way we can restrict the wolves back to the barnyard again while they're being trained. Um, Deadlock, can you grab another load? Now, how's, how's construction works coming on? Yeah, looking pretty good. Once we've got a reef over the place, then we can we can chill out a little bit about the uh, the rush to get things built, because it means that no more snow will fall and. Uh, it just makes makes life easier from that point onwards. Okay, so we should... Who's idle? Oh, Nordic. Oh, there mustn't be any more mining to do. Uh, we can soon fix that, Nordic. Uh, come get a bit more steel while the, the weather's not dreadful. And... Any more of that plast steel would always be a good thing. Ah, good. So now Minty's finished with harvesting uh, and planting. He's able to come and help clear the, the rooms of plants. And he's the fastest at this, so it's really good to have him on the job. Now, Caleb's room is, uh, is emptied and ready for flooring. Not sure yet what kind of floor to put in there. have a think about that um, Nordic there you go go find yourself something to mine now I'm also mining um, when I could be doing floors or something. So let's do the floor of the corridor at least. And we want marble mosaics.
Okay, right, yes, I'm off to start building floors. And, well, that's all for today in Nidite Lane, where uh, things have been a little easier today uh, compared to the day before, I'm pleased to say. Do join us again tomorrow for some more fun and games in Nidite Lane. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. There were four of them, all houses, together in Nidite Lane. Together lived Boris and Anubis. Anubis was always sorry about something. Next door came Minty and Nordic, and Minty really annoyed Nordic by calling him a beast all the time. And the next house was noisy, cause Apple and Melon always had domestics. But it was the fourth house that the police were interested in because Power Suit Sal kept me in the closet. They all lived together in Nidite Lane. A colourful place to be. We all live together on Nidite Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. At Boris's and Anubis's, there was a man who could be sometimes mistaken for a hobo smelling of alcohol trying to climb the walls. But it's okay, because it was Anubis's Canadian cousin, drunk Spider-Man, and a little sad as helper could be seen going house to house. It appeared when someone got tired of Almond, they'd just hand them on to the next surrogate parents. They all lived together in Nidite Lane, a colorful place to be. They all lived together in Nidite Lane, although together is a little bit subjective. It seems they pissed off the neighbours. Something to do with the peel P50 dragon children. But that's just Boris. No one questions him. Because that's what happens in Nidite Lane.